fastest growing black hole has been discovered by scientists. A black hole is the ultimate consequence of gravity. It's an object that has so much mass crushed into such a small space. Prepare to have your mind blown and your understanding of the universe shattered. Black holes, those enigmatic and ominous monsters of outer space, have always been shrouded in mystery, with their insides being the subject of countless scientific debates and Hollywood blockbusters. But now, brace yourselves for a groundbreaking discovery, as scientists have achieved the impossible and captured the first ever images from inside a black hole. What secrets do they hold? What mind-boggling phenomena occur within these cosmic beasts? In today's video, we will embark on an epic journey into the depths of a black hole to uncover the mysteries that lie within. There's something eerily captivating about black holes, with their enigmatic nature and their mind-bending qualities that scientists still struggle to comprehend. It's a place where time loses all meaning and light itself is ensnared by its gravitational pull. So, what exactly are black holes, and how do they come to exist? In short, black holes are born from the remnants of massive stars that collapse in on themselves, creating an object so dense that it exerts a pull so strong that nothing can escape, not even light. But there's more to the story than that. Did you know that there are three different types of black holes? The smallest are stellar mass black holes, weighing between 1 and 100 times the mass of our Sun while the most massive known supermassive black holes can have masses of millions, if not billions of times that of the Sun. And then there's the mysterious intermediate mass black holes, which are thought to bridge the gap between the other two. Black holes have a certain allure that draws us in, but they are much more than just giant holes in space. They are like super magnets with unimaginable gravitational pull that attracts everything from stars to light itself. While black holes may seem simple, they are actually one of the most complex and mysterious objects in the universe. Scientists have been using black holes as a theoretical playground to test fundamental theories ranging from general relativity to quantum physics and string theory. In fact, the study of black holes has provided a new realm of physics for scientists to explore. Despite all that we know about black holes, there is still much that remains unknown. For example, what happens inside a black hole remains a mystery because the forces at work are so massive that science cannot agree on what will happen next. However, one thing is for sure, if you fall into a black hole, there is no surface to stop you and you will feel like you are falling into a never-ending abyss. Now, have you ever tried compressing something into a tiny space? It's hard, right? Now imagine an entire star with a mass like our Sun collapsing into a tiny super-dense sphere. That's what a black hole is, and it's mind-boggling how much gravity it can produce. The Earth's gravity pulls you towards the center, but a black hole's gravity is so strong that it can even trap light. It's like a supermagnet, attracting everything towards it. But contrary to popular belief, black holes are not actually holes. They are spheres made up of two parts, a singularity and an event horizon. The singularity is a point with virtually infinite density, with no volume, and is attracted to everything. This point is so small and dense that it defies our understanding of physics. So next time you think of a black hole, remember that it's not just an empty void, it's a super dense, mind-bending sphere that challenges everything we know about the universe. Due to the intense gravitational pull, black holes cannot be seen directly. Instead, researchers use massive radio telescopes and gravitational wave detectors to observe their effects on their surroundings. In 2015, researchers at the Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory LIGO, observed gravitational waves for the first time, caused by the collision of two black holes 1.3 billion years ago. Black holes can be found by observing their effect on the environment, sucking in gas, dust and stars which become superheated and emit radiation seen as a heat image. In 2019, the Event Horizon Telescope captured the first ever image of a black hole and its shadow in a galaxy 55 million light years from Earth, part of the Virgo galaxy cluster. The image depicts a bright ring surrounding the black hole, representing the heat emitted by hot gas swirling around the event horizon. Even though black holes are invisible, we can observe the effects they have on the universe around them giving us a glimpse into one of the most mysterious objects in the cosmos. 
When it comes to black holes, people are naturally curious about what happens inside. But trust us, falling in is not something you want to experience. Whether it's a stellar mass or a supermassive black hole, the prognosis isn't great. In fact, falling into a stellar mass black hole would result in a process called spaghettification, which is as horrible as it sounds. But if you think a supermassive black hole would be a better option, think again. While you wouldn't turn into spaghetti, you also wouldn't be able to escape. However, what if you dared to venture inside a black hole? The possibilities of contributing to our knowledge of the universe are endless. It's not just a matter of being squished into an infinitely small point. New theories propose that matter could be compressed into the smallest possible volume, creating something called a Planck star. This idea comes from loop quantum gravity, which takes quantum mechanics to the next level by explaining gravity in a natural way. The chunkiness of space-time prevents singularities from forming, making black holes only temporary objects. But don't be fooled, it takes billions or even trillions of years from our outside perspective for a black hole to go boom. So who knows what wonders we could discover if we dared to take the plunge into the depths of a black hole. And if you thought black holes were fascinating, wait until you hear about gravistars. They're another attempt to solve the singularity problem, but this time they don't rely on untested theories of quantum gravity. The name might seem like it was made up on the spot, but that's astronomy for you. The difference between black holes and gravistars is that the latter is filled with dark energy instead of a singularity. You might think that sounds like something out of science fiction, but it's a real substance that exists and causes the universe to expand outward. When matter falls into a gravistar, it can't get past the event horizon because of the dark energy inside, so it stays on the surface. Despite the difference, gravistars appear and act just like black holes. But recent observations by gravitational wave detectors may have ruled out their existence. Even though gravistars aren't officially banned, they're currently on shaky ground. And let's be honest, both Gravistars and Planck stars have pretty cool names. Furthermore, there's more than one explanation for the existence of singularities, and scientists have come up with a theory that's a little less flashy. Instead of a single point of infinite density, it's based on a more realistic view of black holes. Real black holes aren't as boring as we once thought. They have personalities, especially when they spin. Spinning black holes stretch the singularity into a ring, and according to Einstein's theory, passing through it could lead to a wormhole and a whole new part of the universe. The problem is that spinning black holes are unstable, and the math that predicts wormholes also predict travelling to new universes. The rotation generates a strong centrifugal force that acts like anti-gravity, forming an inner horizon with the black hole. Radiation is falling inward toward the singularity from outside this region, but the centrifugal force pushes radiation near the ring singularity, creating a wall of infinitely energetic radiation. Despite the strange behaviour, rotating black holes do exist, and thanks to gravitational waves, we're finally getting a glimpse into what's happening inside. Luckily, scientists have made a breakthrough that could help us understand what happens when these monsters collide. Back in 2015, they discovered gravitational waves, which are wobbles in space-time that occurred during black hole collisions. Using this discovery, scientists have detected almost 100 emerging black holes and have been able to study the waves they emit. It's like shaking a box and trying to figure out what's inside by listening to the sound it makes. Except in this case, the shaking is a collision of two black holes, and the sound is the study of the gravitational waves they create. By studying these waves, scientists have improved their models of cosmic events, allowing them to map the structure of what's happening inside and test Einstein's theory of general relativity in extreme environments. Recent research on nonlinear interactions could improve these models by up to 10% and help us detect more colliding black holes in the future. This is a significant step toward deepening our understanding of gravity and these incredible phenomena that are occurring in the far reaches of the cosmos. Thanks to the pandemic, the famous LIGO observatory that first detected gravitational waves has been offline since 2020. But the good news is that new systems are set to activate in the coming years, promising to detect more black holes in greater detail. Black holes have always been some of the most mysterious phenomena in the universe, and a recent study from the University of Michigan has only added to their mystique. According to the researchers, black holes may simply be holographs, but not in the way you might think. 
Instead, the team is using holograms to understand how the inside of a black hole is connected to the outside. Led by Enrico Rinaldi, the study explores the concept of holographic duality, which suggests that the theories of gravity and particles are mathematically equivalent. Both of these theories are relevant to understanding how black holes function, and the study delves into what this means for the nature of black holes and their interiors. Our understanding of black holes' interiors is largely based on gravity theory, which operates in the third dimension. However, the outside of a black hole is not calculated the same way as the inside, despite both existing in three dimensions. The holographic duality concept sheds new light on this discrepancy and could help us unravel more mysteries about these fascinating celestial bodies. Now share your thoughts in the comments on what fascinates you the most about black holes.